Hey guys, I'm Alexis Sterling and I'm making this video for my Technology 1010 class at Utah Valley University. So today I'll be talking about the Challenger explosion, uh, the space shuttle that exploded back in 1986. Um, just over a minute after the launch there was this huge explosion and it was actually predicted to happen by some of the engineers that, you know, built and um, engineered uh, the rocket boosters and the giant orange fuel tank. But NASA just kind of pushed them aside and they really wanted to get people into space and and do what they wanted to do that they just disregarded um, what other experts said. So there are a lot of ethical questions around this, you know, what they could have done, like what the people should have said and what people should have stood up for. Um, because that could have been prevented, that there could have been lives saved. There were seven astronauts. Um, one of them was a civilian, a teacher. Um, and it, it truly was a tragic loss for our nation and the human race. Just that something so tragic could have been prevented if the proper steps had been taken. Um, and so what I think... What I think NASA could have done differently is really, I, I totally understand if you have a goal and you're just so like, okay, we're going to, we've said that we're going to have this amount of many like launches and this amount of time and we're already falling behind. So we got to go, go, go and do, do this. But at the cost of human life, even if that's a, that's a huge risk factor and the fact that they just pushed that aside, I think that is so disappointing. I think that is just a terrible, terrible thing. And I really wish that they would have listened to the engineers that told them not to go through with it. And one of those engineers named is Roger, let me make sure I say this right, Roger Bojali, Bojali? I think it's Bojali, but he was one of these engineers. He's actually from Utah, um, Utah, Utah Valley University. Um, but and he, he was against, he, he was saying, like, you shouldn't, you know, go forward with this launch. It's dangerous that this could happen, that the, there's something called an O-ring on the, on the rocket launchers, um, like the two white skinny things. And then you have like the big orange one in the middle that the shuttle's attached to. And then you have the rocket boosters, launchers. And there is this thing on this O-ring on the, on the, on the launchers. Um, and it, and it didn't work. And like I said, just over a minute after being launched, there was this huge explosion because that had failed and it had been predicted to fail. And he was one of those guys that said, like, this is a possibility and NASA just brushed it aside. But I truly think that Roger Bosley, that he could have been more strong and could have fought harder. I mean, it's easier to say that in hindsight, but I think he could have done that differently, and I really think NASA should have listened to them. And I think it's so important for future engineers and um, people that will be in the space program. I mean, we're going to the moon again, and we're going to go to Mars soon in the next five, ten years. And I think that's so important to remember and learn from the mistakes that we've made um, and, and to move forward and, and truly make space exploration a success.